Balls. Yeah. Balls. Please, oh, like, he's got some nice balls. Please, look. Damn. They're about to pop out. Look at their balls. Jenny, Jenny, look. Look at his balls. Look at that black guy has huge balls. I hate how big my balls are compared to my dick. It's unfortunate. Especially <laughs> if it's cold. If it's cold and your dick shrinks up, it looks bad, <laughs> yeah. man. And ladies and gentlemen, on that note, we are <laughs> up rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Tasteless Gentleman. Myself, Bradley. Dom. What's cracking? Alex. What up? And scoop a loop. Yeah. Feels good tonight, doesn't it? My balls feel good. Yeah, hey. that's great. <laughs> I want to. Um, I want to tell you guys. I want to thank you guys for uh, supporting us. Yes, on, on as YouTube always. And uh, on the the t-shirts. The t-shirts are fucking selling. That's awesome. Really? Thank you. Yeah, we're like, killing it. Like yeah. crack in the 80s? Like yeah. crack in the 80s. Hey. T- tasteless Gentleman Party. Yeah. Which one's... Uh, which tasteless one? Gentleman Party. That one was flying That off. one? Yeah. 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 So it's a t-shirt. It has like the three parties, Democratic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Republic. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So you can find those at tastelessgentleman.com. And, uh, we, we need to clarify yeah. E-N. Yes. Gen- yeah, yeah. Gentleman. E-N. Gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And we'll put Plural. the link, we'll put the link to the to the shop in the uh, YouTube. Yeah. If you go to Man, it goes to an awful gay porn website. So really? Be, no, not really. Oh, <laughs> it's actually a pretty fantastic gay porn. It's actually site. a great one. Hey, hey, Dom, have you ever checked out LemonParty.org? No, I have not. I'll send you the link. All right, I'll yeah, check it out. It's great. Um, it still exists. Also, if you uh, get a shirt, take a picture with it, send it to us. Yes. We'll, we'll be able to post it on the website. For sure. Yeah. Much appreciated. Get and, you on uh, the IG, maybe. Likes, mm-hmm. comments, even if they're bad ones, I don't give a fuck. Just comment. We appreciate it. It you helps like the us banter. out. It's good banter. It's good banter. I like. The, I'll get on jam. there and talk shit. You'll see. You'll see my little dumb face on there. I'll get on there and talk shit. So, anyway, <laughs> fuck them. It. Fuck them. Your face isn't that dumb. <laughs> well, you know the little I like avatar. That hat, though. Thank you. Thank you. Then we should get a sponsorship from these guys. They're awesome. Give them Which a shout one? out. What? See, maybe they'll fucking hook <laughs> us up. Strip club veteran. I love it. And so I get like dirty looks. I was walking through. Uh, like, you know, one of those malls downtown and uh, this guy, uh, he's wearing the, the Korea, you know, like the real the legit legitimate shit. veteran hat. So yeah. like the guy where, you know, he has PTSD. Oh, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I always have my like VA card because if especially Just if I wear case. this hat, like, yeah. you know, because I know you someone's going to be gonna, too careful, dude. Like vets, we get fucking crazy if you if we think you're lying about being a vet, you know, yeah. <laughs> fucking nuts. Like I'm pretty chill and I'll even get like, what? Holy shit! Fuck up. It, it always becomes like a quiz whenever like somebody's oh, yeah, like, "Oh, yeah. I served." Like, "Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Where'd you serve, dog? Yeah. Where'd, where'd, you, where'd you serve? What where, branch? Where'd you go? Where'd, where'd you go to boot camp? camp? Where'd you, where'd you station? Yeah. What, what was your What's job? Your name? Like, what, was your, what was your rank? <laughs> fuck you, bitch, motherfucker! Fuck get that you. camera out my face. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Korea. He had his Korea thing on. He was actually in a wheelchair. He's getting wheeled oh. around, and he just like. He looked at me with this fucking disdain. I was kind of waiting for it, and I gave him like a nod, you know, but he's just like, you motherfucker. But then at the same time, you want to be like, man, you went to so many strip clubs when you served. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> he wanted to get up and beat your ass is what he wanted Oh, yeah, he was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, we, we, of, keep wheeling, old man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. No, speaking of wearing stuff and uh, getting looks and shit, I remember where I wore that uh, Michael Jordan sad face. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. To uh, the Great America in Chicago. I didn't realize it. Wait, what's the Great America? Is it uh, a mall? Six Flags. Oh, okay. Six Flags right, Great right, America. Right. Yeah. Right. And I would just get these looks, and I didn't even, like, I wasn't even paying attention, but I was like, fuck, man, it just feels weird. Yeah. And I overheard somebody saying, like, yeah, man, that's so disrespectful. Oh. Yeah, and that's a I, hometown is it? motherfucker. And I saw, like, no, this dude, he, he had, uh, he had like, all Jordan shit on. I looked at my shirt, I was like, damn. I am in Chicago yeah. wearing a crying Jordan face shirt. That's, that's their only hero. Yeah, that's I was going to say, <laughs> do they have any other people to yeah. look up to? Oh, Al Capone. It can't be Derrick Rose anymore. <laughs> Chief Keith. Chief Keith. Oh, I mean, obviously, obviously. The great poet, Chief Keith. Or Barack lest, Obama. Lest we forget. Barack Obama. Yeah. I guess that's true. Black yeah. man doing his thing in America. No, but I mean, I would say out of all those, the most widely known and recognized would have to be Jordan. Yeah. Have yeah, I mean, he's one of the I mean, most Barack's famous Barack's going to be planet. recognized, but yeah. fucking everybody knows Kanye Michael West. Jordan. That was a bad idea. Chicago? Yeah, Kanye, Kanye West from Chi Town. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I that was know. a bad idea though. But it was it was funny. A lot of people laugh, but a lot did of people. Did you turn did you go to the bathroom and turn it Fuck inside no. out? No, I was wearing that <laughs> shit like it was fucking in legit. In Chirac? I know. I was Jeez. yeah, I is didn't it di- is it disrespectful to show up in a Jordan uh in a Jordan Wizards jersey? Well <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I feel like that's disrespectful for Jordan more than anything. <laughs> Didn't Damn. he play baseball too? What yeah. about his baseball yeah, jersey? Yeah. yeah, socks. That was socks. Yeah. Well, would it be disrespectful to go to fucking uh, Boston and wear a Larry Bird crying face? But it yeah. doesn't have the Do same have vibe one? though. 
It doesn't have the yeah. same because the Jordan crying face no, is I such get a it. yeah so yeah. iconic. It's, it's become bigger than Jordan. Dude, who cares about Larry Bird's stupid face? He has a dumb face. That big old nose. He he does. Larry Bird was a phenomenal he white basketball threes. player. He make it rain. If yeah. you if he played eight years later, oh, not a chance. <laughs> no. Not a chance. <laughs> Dude, he's on every poster. Every <laughs> single poster getting posterized, guaranteed, one hundred and ten percent. I remember, I remember him, Bill Lane Beer, yeah, John yeah, Stockton. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What were the other? Hey, white John guys? Stockton would probably still be able to play. I, this is this is random, but I I was just talking about this last night. So I, I think Dennis Rodman actually changed black culture, like overall. That's like, a bold statement. Where are you overall, going with this to, one? to wear wedding dresses? Like, no, no, be, no, no, no. To be more like uh, eccentric, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that, fun. like, before For Dennis sure. Rodman, that wasn't acceptable. Yeah, like, they weren't coloring yeah. their hair. Yeah, he was no. kind of like punk rock. Like, yeah, 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 tattooed. Yeah. But did, yeah. did I mean since you guys always give me shit or excuse me the hood gives me shit for liking <laughs> butt stuff? So it's did the good. black community give him shit for wearing dresses and shit? They had to. Oh, of course they did. Yeah, but there's yeah. no social media back then. There's no yeah, black yeah. Twitter. <laughs> oh my saying, god, his Twitter would be firing up if he wore a dress. But I was Holy saying shit. there had to be some grumbling in the hood when he showed up in a fucking wedding dress. Well, I but mean, the thing is, he's dating one of the, at the time he's Carmen dating the, one of the hottest. Didn't they get yeah. married for one day? I don't know. No, I was like, yeah, yeah. I don't uh, know. it wasn't long. He he dated Madonna too. What really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And who's Jim, Jim Jeffries tells a story about yeah, that where yeah. they used to swap fucking swap girls and shit like that. Ooh, it doesn't surprise me. Dennis Rodman, one of the other guys that he played with. Oh, and, that wouldn't uh, surprise me. Yeah. Or they wouldn't surprise me if there were some dudes involved too. And, and yeah. another bull, another bull. Poor Scottie Pippen. Oh yeah, Scottie Pippen Future's always always in the shadow. So if you haven't, I mean, everyone's kind of seen the story on the internet, but Future. Fucked his wife because he didn't sign an autograph. Because he didn't sign an autograph. I, wait, lo- wait, wait. I love that level of pettiness. Future fucked Scotty Pippen's wife I, because Scotty Pippen when didn't he was sign a kid. When he was a kid. When he was a kid. So this was like that is the greatest level so of pettiness like you could ever have. Ten years ever old, have so much respect. And he's like, I'll get you. <laughs> yeah, father. I'll get you. Dude, one can, day. can you imagine? Like, <laughs> really? However, it went That's so awesome. However, it went down. Like it was wow. probably the greatest nut he ever had in his entire life. Because his like to, to have that like. Like, Jordan went into the Hall of Fame because he got slighted by his high school basketball team. <laughs> like, that's actually, a, like, a legitimate reason to be upset. Yeah. But he was, like, holding a grudge for that long. A fucking signature. I mean, you, I mean, you got to Google her, too. She is dude, but fucking Dude, this is a gorgeous. valid topic. We could talk about the revenge nut because I think of all nuts, it ranks probably the highest. It's a, yeah, of course. Revenge. Especially, like, when the, even the, when the girl's like, no, I'm not going to have sex with you. I'm not going to hook up with you. Like, she's, like, very adamant about the fact that, like, that she doesn't like you and then all of a sudden it hits and she's all of a sudden attracted to you and then you get that nut like yeah. fuck you the revenge nut that's a powerful one well all the girls that like hit you up way after high school they mm-hmm. never gave you a chance oh yeah that oh, those ones yo, I ran into one um, this weekend when I was downtown go to my gig from high school nah she wasn't from high school but she was from, from some, some years back and uh, yeah man she had just came up to me like oh my god how you been yeah. I was just like Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> nah, she changed, oh, bro. Really? For the worst? Yeah, for the worst. But that's Ooh. most of the good-looking women Every in high school. They thing. went down yeah. the shitter, dude. I was, I was actually just talking about this with Scoop. I hooked up with an 18-year-old last night. <sighs> the dream. The dream. Drop, <laughs> dropped her off at her college dorm after. Explain how the booty hole smells. The booty hole smelled phenomenal. Right. Explain how you found this gym. It was uh, on Tinder, actually. It was eighteen. Wow. Eighteen. Yeah, I didn't believe it. I thought it was a. Uh, I, thought, I thought it was a bot. I'm first. officially more than twice her age. Yeah, it's no, amazing. She's got no stretch marks. How Nothing. Those little little sand dollar nipples. Yes, yeah, her. <laughs> so it, it just reminded. It remi- so creepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it reminded me of how quick the the female body just goes. Yeah. Well, well that's nineteen, it's, it's over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not to mention. Exactly. It starts going downhill at 19, but then once they start drinking and shit and eating oh, like burritos man. and yeah. pizza, forget smoking it. There, menthols. Yeah. yeah, there's a point in their like Cools. <laughs> in their early in their early to mid 20s, they haven't figured out that like their their drinking and their diet yeah. has fucked them up. And they'll put on a lot of weight, oh, yeah. and then it doesn't not till like their thirties that they're like, oh shit, I have to like. Well, that's why myself. we've talked about it before. That's why I was so fond of banging thirty year olds because that's when they start to like they go downhill, and then they hit 29, 30, and they're like, fuck, that's actually, I got to yeah. get rid of all this fucking shit that I acquired yeah. over the last decade. Fine. So I'm gonna do Pilates, fucking yoga, yeah. it's start they, swimming, it's whatever. They, re- they realize they can't dog dudes anymore. They yeah. can't curve them, so they're exactly. like, oh fuck. There, there's a girl I know that was uh, she was always like that skinny, you know, like fit, but she drank and partied super hard. And like five years ago, she turned into like a little Miss Fitness yep. chick. But it was just so funny. She would talk shit about it, you know, before. Oh, of course. Like, I don't have to work. I can eat. 
whatever the fuck I yeah. want. I was like, that okay. doesn't last, for, that yeah, doesn't yeah. last forever. You'll be, you'll be eating those words later. <laughs> <laughs> Along with a fucking yeah. big slice of humble pie. Yeah. <laughs> fuck, dude. But yeah, no, it was... It was incredible being with uh, with a younger woman like that because girl, she ain't a woman. Yeah, yeah she's yeah. not. True, <laughs> and but like you, you really do see like there's there's so much that happens in like that twenty or twenty to thirty range, and like it only starts to happen. Yeah, it's called like, life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointment. Yeah. Anxiety. Mm-hmm. Debt. <laughs> Stress. Shit. Stress. All the shit that you don't ever want to have to deal with. Yeah. Terrible fucking breakups. Yeah, heartache, stress, yeah. drug, people dying, fuck, fuck boys, car accidents, unanswered fuck DMs, yeah. Vicodin, dog dies. Yeah, it's cocaine. All, it's all so sad. Yeah, it really it's never all gets better. After eighteen, nah. Yeah, uh-uh. it really didn't get any better. I thought it would. No, I was thinking about this yesterday too. Like, I was driving around. You know, like it was late night. I went out with my girl. You know, we had a few drinks. I was like, dude, it's so much better though being this age than it was. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, being yeah. super young. And like you got to worry about like every dollar you. Yeah, fucking pitch. You're, not, you're not worried about who's pitching in on the fucking on the Keystone Light. Yeah. <laughs> I literally like, hey, you got this, on this thirty. I had this discussion yesterday, and I was like, "Fuck, you remember how when you were like 17, 18, 19 and five hundred dollars was like the fucking Holy most shit. ridiculous amount of money? And Holy now I'm shit. like, oh, fuck, dude, I could write that in one bill. Yeah, if like, I had five hundred dollars when I was like eighteen, oh. nineteen, we're having a kegger. You're like doing <laughs> Ice what Leo lose. did, yeah, just throwing exactly. fucking money off your dude, yacht, living the fucking dream. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, now you're now the cool shit is like, oh, I want to go to Vegas. Yeah, I'll just book yeah. a fucking hotel room and we'll go to Vegas. Yeah. That's so crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. But then, again, but then again, you can't enjoy it because you're in bed hungover the entire also true. time. It's reminiscing true. makes me sad. I know. <laughs> I know. The I, glory days are gone. I, I did take a trip down memory lane driving by the college too. So. Well, how was? I'm I'm honestly curious. How was an 18 year old in bed? Um, so we actually didn't get to fuck because she was on her period. So I got a blowjob, which how was, was phenomenal. How was an 18 year old blowjob? Really good, yeah. They're, I feel like they're starting at such a young age now. That's true. The internet. She's got ten years of experience. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There were girls that are like still just use like you know losing their virginity around like seventeen. Yeah. Well, when she we can were in watch high it on the fucking internet. Like yeah, she's twelve. Yeah, so she's already known how to 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 work the bagpipe like just from just from watching porn. Twist the throttle, girl. Yeah. Oh yeah, throttle. it's so good. Dude. Definitely. <laughs> And then, you know, you know, when you're first hooking up with somebody, you don't know what their response is going to be. Like, you don't know if you can bust in their mouth or not. And so you're like, so oh. you grab their head. Yeah. And make it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so you're like, you know, shoots out of her fucking yeah. nose. That's when you're like, oh, I'm going to come and just to see what their reaction is, Stop to see what they do. Crying. And the best is when they don't like make any noise and they just keep going. You're like, ah, oh, yeah. When there's not even a pause. Not even a pause. Keep yeah. Going. Yeah, exactly. No hesitation. Or, or like speed up a little bit. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> and, oh, in that case. Yeah. yeah. Put a little bit more effort. A little yeah. More yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So w- when I got that, when I got that, uh, that you know, approval right there. I was like, okay, I like these. It's the silent approval yeah. that really matters the most. Mm-hmm. Yep. Is it is it a pump and dump situation? You're trying to hang out? No, I mean, we'll you, probably, we'll you probably gonna get her a fake ID, bring her out to the bars. <laughs> she has one. <laughs> is she in a sorority? She literally just moved to San Diego and just started from, college. Please Midwest. Somewhere. Um, she's from back east Maine. She hasn't even yeah. pledged yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she do did. girls do that. She did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. She and did. That's how you have to get in. Yeah. I think. Unless they change the rules. And then I don't know. I saw the, a movie one time. They were like doing sexual things. Yeah. What they do is they get the fraternity and they line you up and they all get to fuck each one of them. So the that's dream. how you get in. I think the dream is like having like three girls lined up doggy style and you just dip. I, just yeah. Go bloop, yeah. And then you go to the, or yeah. stacked like like you're sampling yeah, like stacked, you're stacked. like you're sampling bloop. frozen yogurt. I'm not, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not tall enough to do that. I gotta have them side by side. I mean, you could figure something out. Yeah, dude, you would fucking like, get a step stool like no, you don't need one, one chick on her stomach, yeah, the other yeah. chick on top of her. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm dude, still, that's like dumb, dumb. You forget you're a tall, strapping black man. <laughs> yeah, I am not. Just the, the whole pyramid just makes me. It's so happy. Yeah, that is that is fun. I want to do that someday. It's never gonna happen. Oh, it can happen. Don't say never, okay? It can happen. I but know a place down it, south. Oh, well, oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Or, or, you know, once we fucking make it massively huge with the TG. Maybe. Yeah, yeah that's true. We can probably make it happen then. Yeah. I figure with a million bucks, you can make something like that happen. Hey, if anybody, <laughs> if any of you ladies watching this are willing to partake or allow any of us to do this, by all means, just the, send us a message. The top pyramid. We're going to build a tower. Yeah. 
It's going to be a great tower. The best tower. The best tower. It's going to be a tower to end all towers. Yeah. Not the Trump Tower. It's going to be a tremendous fucking tower. And we're going to get Adelita to pay for it. Yep. She gets sponsored by She gets sponsored. That's a good idea. Yeah. For those who don't live in San Diego. It's a famous whorehouse. In Mexico. Yeah. Tijuana, right? Yeah. TJ. We need a Mexican So they say. We need a Mexican food sponsor, too. What, like, I don't think. No, I want burritos. Also. Like Taco Bell. I want s- no. That f- how dare Ooh. you? How dare Ooh. you? That fire butt. You fit- it's I, a, it's the, oh, that and Chipotle are like the nationwide uh, uh, Mexican places. Those are not Mexican food. Dude. I know it's not, but like you, you know, the local taco shop doesn't have like thirty locations. <laughs> dude, Chipotle. Okay, speaking of Chipotle, so I've, this is something that's been bothering me. I for can tell. A while. Where are you going with this? I okay, can tell. I, I have a big gripe. So are we going to call them, are they called bull dykes or are they called butch lesbians? I like butch lesbians. Bull dykes. Bu- are bull you, dykes? I mean, okay, I would say that either could apply, but who the fuck are you asking here? Us? Or are you asking, I'm asking you. Are you I mean, asking a Because bu- I don't think they're watching the show. I'm, gonna, I'm yeah, asking. Like, yeah, that's true. Are, are you asking us or a burly lesbian? I, I'm asking a, a broken nation. What do you call? <laughs> I would say, um, I, yeah, I'd I say think <laughs> either of those suffice. So it, it depends. Right. If you're a lesbian, you'd probably call them a bull dyke, and they'd probably uh, so, probably call themselves dykes. Yeah. Well, I, I just want to get... I, this is like a PSA. I'm fucking sick of you. I'm done with your whole people. I'm so fucking done. So I was at Chipotle, speaking of... Of fucking, all places. Yeah, and uh, I'm ordering food, and I kind of like bump back into this... This she's She looks like a man, right? Like... And she does this like mean mug thing, and I was like, "Oh, excuse me." And she goes, "Yeah, you're excused." What did this woman look like? Was it Chaz? Like, was that it Chaz? Woman loosely. Dude, was it Chaz Bono? <laughs> Dude, I mean, not far off. I mean, she she's probably like look, 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 looks like a fucking linebacker. Really? Like five foot nine, like two fifty. Like would you say that she was a rotund woman? Was she was she wearing like uh, old school checks? Nah, I mean, she dressed like a fucking dude. Like, you yeah, know, like but the old school black, chucks, yeah, like the flannel. Black, black Claire. The worst kind of person. But I it, <laughs> I just, it's not it's not like they're all their people. But it's this attitude that these these chicks have. So then a couple okay, of so days later. so you're standing in line waiting yeah. to order your burrito yeah, bowl. Yeah. And you fucking like step back and or something. And I was like, oh, I was like, oh, sorry. Like, like this chair is her. You're like, oh, oh excuse oh, me. Excuse me. Sorry yeah, yeah. And that. she was like, you're excused. And it's just this mean mug, right? So she has this air like she's a dude. You know what I mean? Like this kind of like, you know. Like she wanted to fucking start yeah, like this, like, like, does she even give like a? No, no, no. <laughs> but it, it is that kind of vibe, though. I, I want to fast forward though, because this happened again. So I'm I'm leaving the gym. So this this is a few weeks ago, and then you know this next thing happened a couple days ago. So I'm leaving the gym. I go into Vons, right? That's a grocery store here in San Diego. Walk into Vons, I see a fucking gorgeous girl, like a half black chick. Was like, this uh, which Vons here in PB? Uh, in uh, Point Loma. Okay, that's yeah. a good one too, though. Oh, my God. oh the one yeah. in PB is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the twenty four. Yeah, in PB. for those of you, most of you who don't live in San Diego and don't know, there's a couple of grocery stores in this particular area that are just phenomenal. Trader Joe's being one of them. It's like one of those where I would say you could Hopes. go into the Trader Joe's here anytime it's open, and I would say find four or five, seven to eight, maybe maybe mm, a yeah. nine or two. And that's I, San I get, Diego seven. I get, I get, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get dressed up like I'm going to the bar. <laughs> Yeah, just to go grocery shopping. You're like shopping. fucking suit and tie. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> if, pushing if, a fucking. If I'm scrubbing it in like sweats and a sweatshirt, I'm going to I'm going to Sprouts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, all the hippies over there, I don't care. Now the Trader Joe's though, it's they, Yo- yeah. Yoga Pant Central. Yeah, it, that's what it is. Oh. So I, I see this girl. She's wearing like short shorts, and it's just one. She's like so attractive. You have to look at her, right? So I, I'm staring a little bit longer than I should be, and I don't see that she's with somebody, right? So a normal reaction from like a guy when you're with when you have like a super hot chick like and you see another dude looking you just kind of like yeah yeah, yeah. Slide a bit you like, do the yeah, nod yeah, yeah. guess like, what yeah I've had some dude I've had some dudes try to square up on me though I, I'm sure I'm sure but it's it's like one of these like you know like it's kind of like a, yeah, that's insecurity if you try to square up with somebody who's looking at your chick nah yeah but it, that's like a, a normal guy reaction right but these fucking bull dykes have to compensate for not having a fucking cock so they do this like weird like mean mug. And, That's like what you was, don't get both. Was okay. She, so was the bull dyke in this particular scenario? Was she with the hot? She was with the hot so chick. Was, yeah, so yeah, you're yeah. talking the, the one was a lipstick lesbian, so, and the other one was yeah, and hot as fuck. So she's looking at like the the milk, you know, section, and the other girl is like further back. How I just appropriate didn't see, that she was, she was at leaning. The milk. She's, at the, she's at the eggplants, <laughs> <laughs> and she was the the bull dyke was leaning on the the grocery cart. So I did, you know I just couldn't really see over, and she stood up because she saw me looking, you know, and it was this weird like look, and she's staring at me, and I look at her. And then I do this like what like 
the fuck do you want? Like, look, I'm not like some tough dude, but you will get knocked out. Like, you don't get like this this guy treatment and the female treatment. You don't get yeah, both. Yeah. So she she has the confidence of this like of a girl. You know, like you're not gonna hit me, but you're a dude. You know, you know why too. She she knows that her girl is hot. Is hot. Well, no, no, no. Yeah. She knows that her girl was probably fucking dudes before. Oh yeah, yeah. That's part of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I would say all lipstick lesbians were in that particular situation. For yeah. sure, one hundred percent. The yeah. alternative, the other side of the lesbian, you know, spectrum, the yeah. bull dyke. Yeah, the ones they, that look they're like the me. ones that have been fucking munching box since they could munch box. <laughs> the ones that look could like you, you. Could you imagine waking up with a girl that looked like me? <laughs> like yeah, the that'd... fucking troll from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> she's got that little like nasty mustache. Oh, oh <laughs> my god! Yeah. Like the one you really like the one you were excited about growing when you're 14 because yeah. you yeah. just got your fucking hair. Yeah, you're like, oh look, look what I got. And she mustache. and she puts on some of your like shirts, like a flannel shirt, and literally just dresses just like you. Yep, <laughs> the worst. Weird. Not not the cute like I'm wearing your button up, ha no. ha. Like like no, she's putting your jeans on. <laughs> yeah, she's like pass the beer, dog. Like, oh, just f- lifting up a leg. <laughs> <laughs> so. Did she say anything to you? No, she didn't say anything. But I, it was just that extra long stare. Like if if you did that to another guy. It'd be like fuck, you know. Like, do the, we have a problem? Yeah. It, it, it might be, it might be fists right there yeah, in the parking lot. It's like, do you have a problem? But she doesn't realize that that is the consequence of this, and she she's stuck in this limbo place. Where like, it's like it's like the bus driver. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean. At some point, like if you if you if you give that look, if you bump my chest, if you you know slap me or throw Wait, hands. What, what was that? I remember there's something about the bus driver. I don't remember the, the whole bus story. driver was the one where the the female passenger was hitting him. And he got up and he just fucking knocked oh, her out. He did. Is that the one where he literally like wound up and yeah, just fucking yeah. like a haymaker and full nailed on, her? Full no. on Street Fighter at Ugin. Was she was she really hitting him? Though? She was yeah, really yeah, yeah, she him. was yeah. wailing she was, on him. She was dude. firing yeah, on him. Yeah, she was she was yeah. in the wrong. Yeah, she was definitely in the wrong. And then he like he like dragged her out of the fucking bus too. See, this is this is where I get confused because this is possible. Like, it's not, now guys are not supposed to hit women. I don't want to hit a woman. That's not you know, I've never done it. Sometimes it's just reaction. But but at the same time, you can't run around thinking like I could never get. You're hit. not. The bottom line is, yeah, I don't care who. You're not immune no, to getting not, knocked the fuck out no, if you're no. just because you have a vagina. Not Especially right. sometimes it's a snap reaction. Yeah. yeah. Like I've I've stopped myself in in that in a similar scenario. Where a girl's up in my face and she like raised her hand and meanwhile I'm like rearing back to hit her just because yeah, you're, you're close like, to me yeah, yeah exactly yeah. I've been in that, that so many times where I'm like oh fuck there was that girl who uh, you. that girl who got like ten years uh, because the uh, the police officer, it was in the middle of like a riot or something like that it was a couple of years ago like the Occupy that oh that yeah, time. yeah that yeah, movement yeah and uh, the cop that was came a fun up one <laughs> and grabbed her like but grabbed her like kind of weird you know like it just didn't seem right he didn't say anything so the camera's from behind it's a cell phone from behind and the cop runs up and he grabs her and she does like a like a like an elbow and because hits him she right in the she face. Didn't know she didn't even know who it was. Pretty yeah. much knocks him out. You know, like he stumbles back, right? And then they tackle her, beat out, you know, beat the shit out of her basically. <laughs> she got yeah. ten years. Right? Yeah, yeah. and dude, stuff? they I don't know if she actually got it, but I know they like overcharged her with like, you know, they always crazy. do that. They do it's doesn't crazy. surprise yeah. me. Fuck yeah. You I don't care. Put away you hit a life. cop, you're going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> you hit a cop. <laughs> um so speaking crazy. of crazy fucking bitches, is the it was a Florida International University football player, FIU. This guy has a pregnant girlfriend in college, college football athlete. How old is he? Do you know? Uh, like 20, 21-ish, 20, okay. like right around there. And his pregnant girlfriend dumps a pot of boiling water on him while he's just sitting on the couch. And there was no reason other than she felt like she, that he wasn't giving her the attention that she deserved. Is that what she said? She said that. Mm, she she said, that. said this. Yeah. That, that you're, you're right. She's crazy. Because yeah. if... A sane person would go, oh, man, I just fucked up. I, I got to come, come up with a, a story. better story yeah. than I needed attention. <laughs> like, oh, his phone was blowing up, but I didn't, I didn't know. He, he wouldn't let me read his or, text messages or, or some shit. how about I almost kill this guy? He threatened me. Yeah. <laughs> he ra- yeah, exactly. He, he threatened, me. He threatened yes. punch me. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you dump it and he's, like, passed out from pain, you start screaming like you're being assaulted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, figure it out, figure bitch. Figure it out, yeah. I, I just imagined her sitting there, like, nice and quiet, like it was, like, Beyonce, and just, like, for the police to show up being like, yeah, I did it. Oh, that's probably because she didn't realize how big a deal this is. Wait, oh, so yeah. she where did she dump it on him? On his head. On his head. Like from, so he's from oh, he's, behind? He's done from the year too. He's done for the year. They is said he, he was still in the hospital? I mean I'm probably. Sure. I'm they sure said, he's, they said he was NFL bound for like for sure, this guy. I mean he's still potent his career's not over. Like he he's just gonna look ugly. And, but oh, shit. I mean, but, I mean uh, Jason, out of the game Jason, for Jason for a Pierre year. Paul blew his fingers off. That's true. I mean but he doesn't I mean this guy's gotta catch shit. I don't know. 
I mean, he wasn't that guy. That was a lineman or something, right? Yeah, but it's just his face. You see the club? You see the club? He's an NFL player. They put the helmet on. You don't know what they look like. Does he still have, like, use of all his fact, like, his eyes and everything still work properly? Yeah, they didn't say anything about, like, him. So they just said that he can't play football for the rest of the year. Hey, I hope he makes it so fucking big that he just gets fucking contracts worth tens of and he's gonna, tens of millions he's of dollars. He's going to need that money with all the scars. And, well, yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. I hope he gets so fucking rich off football that he can just buy any pussy he wants for the rest of his life because he deserves it. Do you hey, know? would you sacrifice that? What? You, like a whole bunch of scars on your face? Like maybe scars for some money? For an NFL contract? For yeah. well, I, don't, I don't know about NFL. Maybe baseball. But well, the other problem, though, is that she was pregnant. I mean, I think we might have mentioned that, but she's pregnant. So they, yeah. they're going to have a kid also. Too, oh, that kid's getting born in jail. Uh, I guess it depends on how pregnant she is. And she's going to get half of whatever that motherfucker makes. No, no. No, she's going to get ch- uh, child support. Yeah, she did, if, when she gets out. Yeah, uh, I guess. She'll get child support. Fuck, no. Damn. Somebody take her out for the culture. Damn. That's what I'm saying, Somebody. for the culture. And she wasn't even like, she's not Damn. banging. Like, she's all right. She wasn't ugly. She was, you know. But, like, you, uh, but like, you know what's sad is that these these guys when they get in the pros they ditch the college girl like immediately. Yeah. Why would you? Yeah. Get this bum out of my, my face. My my mom's friend, um, or my parents' friends, their daughter was dating Aaron Rodgers throughout all of college, and like almost immediately, like draft hit, like back to single. <laughs> Damn. You got. Yeah. Got. You got to let her go. You got to do it. Yeah. You you cannot go. And also, you got to focus. It's less about like fuck this chick. You gotta focus yeah, on the task at yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's money to be made. Yeah, you have, a you lot have, of money to be made. Yeah, Brett Favre sending dick pics. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't be sidetracked by these hoes. And now, now he's married to uh, who? Olivia Munn. Olivia. Uh, Munn? Well, wasn't that the one that that had a that had a kid by um, Tom Brady or no? No, 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 no. This chick was on that show Newsroom. She was like, okay, yeah, yeah. Is yeah, he still yeah. with Giselle Buttchin or whatever the fuck? Her name is? <laughs> <laughs> that chick is hot as fuck. Yeah. Oh, you think so? Oh, she's, yeah. Come you on. know what's crazy? She Tom looks, Brady. She's got a man face, no, dude. She's she got, like, she looks like a sharp bat a little bit. Features, dude. <laughs> Tom Brady is the only person in his situation where you're like insanely successful, with, like top, the peak of your game, really good looking, super wealthy, and still married up. Like you gotta give him respect for that. But he's probably pulling the Will Smith shit, where you're fucking on the side and it's all good. Dude, uh, I would, I Will would Smith's fucking bet dudes. that a lot more of these types of people who are that fucking famous and loaded yeah. have these side arrangements with most of their significant others. You would have to. It's good business though, too. It's like people love that guy for him being married and like yeah. you know, like I'm he's sure yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. hey, you get a, you get seven figures a year. Yeah. You keep your mouth shut. She, I she do what I want. Has more money than he does. Oh, a butt chin? What a, Yeah, that's what, that. that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. She married well, she up. She was one. She was one of the original Victoria's Secret. She's models, right? still one of the highest paid models in the world yeah. right now. I think she is the highest she's, paid model. She's 92 yeah, years so old. So for all of you IG models, you ain't shit. Yeah. Damn. So he, I, she's worth significantly more than him. Like. Like she, he's like nothing compared See, to her. If, that, if you're gonna get married though, that's what you do. Fucking, she makes seven figures a year. You make seven figures. Yeah, you can't have it. You can't have the Reggie Bush shit going on. You go buy a fucking Which, island. You and saw CG. that? With, oh, oh man. Oh, we gotta talk about that. Holy fuck! What, what, what? Oh my god! He got finessed harder than anyone in fucking history. Reggie that's Bush the, that was the biggest L all year. Let's no, let's be real. The, let's be wait, real. Wait, wait, wait. Bigger than Meek. Bigger oh, than me. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one was monetary. <laughs> oh man. So what happened to Bush? So uh, Reggie Bush, uh, he has he's he was married to the Kim Kardashian lookalike, but he he was obviously been fucking around on the side because you're on the oh, road. Oh, I heard something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, he was hooking up with a uh, his mistress basically was a model or not a model, excuse me, a uh, a waitress at a restaurant. But same thing. Was, <laughs> same thing. Yeah, she, yeah, exactly. IG <laughs> model. In this day yeah, and age, yeah, exactly. Server, one of the same. Bartender, you know whatever. Real estate agent. Real estate agent. Peddling they're, they're, fucking they're, skinny they're tea always, and yeah. protein shit. They always say model <laughs> slash server. It's yeah. actually server slash model <laughs> slash actress. Yeah. Singer, bitch. You haven't sung once in your life. Slash getting piped. <laughs> <laughs> slash desperately searching for a guy who's gonna fucking yeah. be four times my age and have you know Sla- fifty million in his bank account. Slash getting paid to hoe out in yeah. in Dubai. <laughs> Getting pooped on <laughs> by some dirty Arab. Some fucking Sultan. <laughs> the Sultan of Brunei. Yeah. Shitting on her fucking face. Um, okay, so 
He's yeah. So he, side chick. Side chick. She's a uh, yeah. She, she's pretty she's a, attractive. You said though. she's a server, right? Server. She's hot as fuck though. But um, so he got her pregnant, right? So he he's like, okay, here's Isn't the agreement. Isn't that number one rule of having a side chick? You don't vasectomy if you got money. What are you doing? Yeah, but that's exactly. what I'm saying. That's like the number one rule. You don't fucking yeah. knock up a side chick. You always use a condom with your girl, and then you use no, you pull out with a side chick. Exactly. That's number one rule. Yeah. Exactly. Fucking amateur. I like here. that. Yeah, you gotta do. It. Yeah, you don't want you don't want her to get an STD. <laughs> yeah, I was I was just gonna go wrong with her. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I love that girl. Yeah, you, I don't want to get. Yeah, STD. I don't, don't want to do bad by her. <laughs> I want to keep you safe, baby. All of a sudden, she's like, "Well, I have HPV." <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's weird. Yeah, I don't know. Bro. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Runs in the family. Well, did, did, something did, did in you, there. Did you sit on a dirty toilet seat? <laughs> <laughs> did your mom have it? I heard it's hereditary. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he offers to pay her a million dollars to have an abortion. Um, oh, she, I did she hear agrees. about this. She okay. agrees with the, and they with signed an NDA, right? Yeah, or some uh, shit? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the, the the details there. Okay, so he okay. Let's get so knocks up his side chick. Yep. Says I will give you a million dollars to have an abortion. To have an abortion. Okay. Right. Now I remember this. Now yes. what? what is By the she way, do? I'd pay two million. Yeah. I'd pay three million if I, I could afford it. Any amount that I could actually afford. Yes. Yeah. I, would, I, I might even invest them. I'd be like, you know what? I'll give you like a million down now. Yeah. <laughs> let's draft up a contract and we'll do a percentage every yeah. year. You can pay a hitman fifty grand. Hit her with a truck. I'm, call, I'm calling up Derek Rose, being like, "Yo, who's your dude? <laughs> yeah. Who's your boy? Allegedly, you hire. Yeah. That's you could get five grand, dude. Yeah. Come on. You, you could fly a guy, a hitman, in from the favelas Fuck in that. Brazil. We could go downtown for a grand and some crack I'm and find say, someone. Wait, to do make, make it look like a mugging. Yeah. Uh, a fucking mugging gone wrong. Some but two. Bum. Make it look like an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Call up Clinton's dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Body, body counts high. <laughs> okay, so offers a million to get an abortion. A million. And she she does, takes it. Yeah, takes it. she okay. takes that money. Um, she decides. Was um, this a million cash? Like he just fucking. I, I actually don't like know. Like a little briefcase? I, I don't know. I mean, probably not. I mean, he probably wired it. He had to call his fucking financial guy. Dude, there's paper trail. There's oh. everything. He probably called his financial guy. He's like, wait, what? His accountant's like, dude, there's huh? a, if you go to the bank, go to the bank and try to withdraw five grand, dude. It automatically sends up. Red I've never flags. had five grand to withdraw. <laughs> <laughs> If you ever do, at some point, try to do it. See what happens. Yeah, dude, a million dollars, it's not that easy yeah. to just fucking even get it. So she says no, and then he's like, all right, well, I'll give you three more. She, three more million. So three more four million. million total. She's like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Nope, not doing it. She has four million dollars now. Wait, but there was nothing signed? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like, even, I'm so giving I'm, I'm you pretty, this money. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty, that. pretty sure she signed an NDA, but that may have just been to not speak. Yeah. Which means that she never really had to get the abortion. I, I also don't think you can legally you can make s- someone have an abortion. Yeah, that no might be what. another thing. Yeah, because then you could like literally like she could say he's strong army and maybe yeah. get the abortion. Blah blah blah. I don't know, but he's got to have lawyers. Like he, what he's, do you, what, he's what doing do you, this. On yeah, the under. what are you gonna do? You're gonna go to court and be like, yeah, no, well, she no, to force saying, her no, into an abortion. No, not in court. I'm saying you talk to a lawyer in confidence and say, look, this is what I'm. I'm kind of being blackmailed here, and I don't want this to happen. So, what do you advise that I do? That's what lawyers kill her. Do. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think a smart lawyer. We're getting would taken say, off YouTube. You didn't hear. You didn't hear this from me. However, I would advise. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know a guy who knows a guy yeah. who knows. But a guy. But you didn't hear this from me. Yeah, wink, wink. Okay, so four million. Four million. She's not doing it. Not doing it now. She's gonna have the baby and have him locked up, and not only that, she's gonna get paid because he's retired. She gets child in a year. support now. She's yeah. getting child support on the money he was making while he was in the NFL for eighteen years. Yo, 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 yo. Wait, why does he go to jail? What? No, no, he's no. not going. Locked no, no, up. He met locked out. up like with the kid. Yeah, he's oh, locked okay, up. Okay, yeah. okay. It's worse. Yeah. It's worse. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, so you mean to tell me that if someone's getting alimony, the amount is predicated upon what? Yes. And it, it, it not like, only that. Wait, wait, wait. So, it, it's like when you get a, div- it's like when you get a divorce. Did you and, heard about, oh, okay, go ahead. go ahead. When you get a divorce, you, you pay them uh, the, um, the amount because of the lifestyle they're accustomed to. Yep. She could. She may have never earned a fucking dime in her entire life. You know but, that but be, kid ain't gonna be raised either. But because Fuck, because of the fact that you made like fifty million dollars and you were living large with her as a wife, you still have to give her the kind of money that would allow her to live the lifestyle. She I was can't living even with believe you. that the lifestyle you're accustomed to is wording in a legal document. It's crazy. Do you know how subjective you, that is? If yeah. If you get fired, where's your, uh, my lifestyle that I was accustomed to? Yeah, exactly. What the fuck? No, he, you, you, you're, did, you're, you didn't know it, but I yeah. was fucking eating caviar off vaginas yeah. and fucking <laughs> railing lines and, off titties every and, and day. That, and that's fucked because you get the same fucking uh, um, the same unemployment check 
for the most part as like everybody else. Everybody, yeah. Yeah. There's a max no matter yeah, what you exactly. make. <laughs> I never thought of that. So true. Yeah, like, it that's is. so fucking You could fucked. make $500 a month or $5 million and you get what, $1,900 a month? Yeah, like there's, there's a people that are losing their jobs coming out ahead. That's <laughs> true. Jackpot. That's true. Uh, so he, yeah, he got finessed. I mean, that's crazy. That, that's a crazy amount so of money. So she, is she, she's, Obviously showing pregnant what a couple months had the kid. I don't know. I just saw all the news articles about it. I didn't yeah. Yeah. I saw pictures of what she looked like. She, I mean, she, she had that leave it in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you throw her the rope in there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Would yeah, you yeah. eat caviar off that pussy? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd eat caviar out of fucking some bar slut pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's nothing. I mean, it is caviar, Dom. Come I've on. I've done way worse. That's nothing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I really do feel bad for him. But you know, I dumb, I do though. too, but I tip my hat to her. I don't. She fucking, she yeah, she hustled him. She that's a hustle. Finesse no longer means executing a play seamlessly and nah. greatly, <laughs> and now means taking advantage of somebody yes. and coming up. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. N bomb, you got finessed. <laughs> <laughs> that, I wonder what I wonder what feels worse to Reggie Bush losing to fucking Texas in the national championship uh, game or that. How wow. about both? He now he's wife just too. <laughs> what was that? So he loses his wife. Yeah, they got yeah. kids together. I don't know. He might finesse her. You never know. No. Dumb. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. I mean, you're, yeah, dude, he's this he's a little ass dude gonna, too. You know, you know, he's not gonna get the. Yeah. He's gonna go the route of fucking MC Hammer, man. It's over. He's got a, oh he's nobody got a, no no well, no that, that's that's different that's got way got a, different. He's got an ex wife who he's gonna be paying child support to right oh, now. Yeah. He's got this chick. Dude, he's fucked. No, MC. First off, MC Hammer went in epic fashion. Yeah, it was almost worth it <laughs> just did he, to go broke. Did he bro. buy a helicopter? Yeah, he bought a helicopter yeah, the Oakland from PD the helicopter. Oakland Police Department. Yeah, we talked Ball about it. it. That that's yeah. like that's some shit. Like I have friends who grew up in Oakland, and one of his uh, or his wife ended up becoming a Raider che- uh, Raiderette cheerleader, and that's like one of the few dreams growing up in Oakland. The other is to like fuck the Oakland Police Department somehow. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. like legitimately, I guarantee you. Like the he was like, when I make some money, I'm buying some shit from the Oakland Police Department. Is that like you see the motherfuckers driving around with the old cop cars? <laughs> I hate those people. <laughs> yeah, because you hate see them behind so you much. And you fucking freak they out. They know it. They know what they're yeah. doing. Oh yeah, of course they do. They're always. You ever notice they're always like skinny, trashy, fucking white like, dudes. White dudes that are like smoking a cigarette. Well, yeah, out you, the window. <laughs> only only here and, and, and it still has like the searchlight yeah, on the side always, too. Always, always has that, the light. Yeah. 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 One of my buddies had one of those in high school, and we used to go up to uh, parks where we knew people were drinking at, and it, the car looked like a cop car in the yeah. dark. Of course and, it does. Yeah, and so we would we would fucking shine the light on the on the park, and you there were people like drinking on like benches yeah. and like tables or whatever, and you would just see everybody scatter, scatter. like fucking cockroaches. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I was that guy. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, then, but then we showed up with beer. You know? I mean, you know, Fair you enough. make up for it. I, I remember running with like five friends through a fucking uh, golf course while the police were like looking for us. Like, oh, we were hiding. We like, guys drinking oh, on the yeah. golf course? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were drinking. We were getting fucking we were smoking. There's like 30 people like out high there. High school? Yeah. And then uh, the cops show up and everyone just scatters and like the lights and the sirens and shit. And I'm hiding, you know, in the sand bunkers. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's when you just like everybody's running and they're all getting arrested but if you just lay still yeah, you're yeah, good like, you just, yeah you just lay fucking still they're not sending a fucking search party for some fucking no, kids no, drinking on a golf yeah because they just want to stop you yeah they I think just, just want to fuck with you I, I actually my 18th birth so my 18th birthday a week before it I got a uh, curfew uh, citation God, I remember because there days. was there was a fight and my buddy got hit over the head with a fucking baseball bat Ooh, and, you can die from that, dude. Yeah. Fuck. He dropped like a fucking sack of potatoes, yeah. dude. Just dropped it to the fucking ground. And so I'm like trying to help him out and the cops show up. And uh, and so they cite me. I'm like a week. I, I was around the corner from my house. Literally around the corner from my house. Uh, got a curfew violation one week before my 18th birthday. One week <laughs> later. One week later, we're having a bonfire at this like like abandoned railroad track uh, place. It's like in the middle of nowhere. It's monitored by like two CHP cops. It's like... Uh, cops this entire stretch of uh, of city and uh at like 11 o'clock they break up this party and there's like a hundred fucking people and they start handing out cert- curfew violations and then they're also calling the parents to pick them up so they're not letting them like continue with their night mm-hmm. and it's 11 o'clock and i'm sitting there at the back of the line i keep on like inching back a little more a little more and midnight hits and everybody starts singing happy birthday and the cop comes over to me and he goes oh it's your birthday i was like yeah 18 and he's like Hmm. And he grabs the ID and he looks at it. He goes, "Well, 
That means if there's a fire and it breaks out, you know you're going to Santa Rita, right? Which is the county jail. I was like, fuck you. Don't try to pull this fucking shit on me, you fucking what, asshole. Dude, what kind of bitch-ass cops pull that? Dude? Yeah, dude, like, show a little respect. Be like, you know what? That's pretty slick. I'm, yeah. I've never even heard hey, of Hey, you lucky violation. kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never... What, what is that even? What do they do? Yeah, what no, that? like, I remember it it's, was... It's, it's, you just get a... It's, it's like, you just pay money. Like, yeah. who pays all it? Is. My parents. <laughs> well, like how Actually, much? I had a job, so I paid. It's like 80 bucks or some shit like that. Yeah. That's just, they're just taking money. My right? parents wouldn't it's pay extortion. it. No. It's extortion. It's a shit. It's the extortion. whole entire, yeah, it's all shakedowns. Are you My fucking mom would be like, me? nah, go to jail. Yeah, like, you did that. That's on you. Fuck you. <laughs> go to jail for fucking, <laughs> like they're sending people to county for fucking, for being out past yeah. midnight. Like what? <laughs> You're like shaking, sitting next to murders and rapists. Yeah. <laughs> what are you waiting here for? Yeah. <laughs> I am curfew. I, <laughs> you, you. TV violation. Yeah, do, do you need a friend? I can be your friend. <laughs> hold my pocket. I was about to say, that. hold this pocket. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, I've never heard of that. We definitely didn't have that where I grew up. No, oh, I remember cur- curfew. Nah, yeah, they had, yeah I had, no. it was in high school when I was in high school. That's crazy. I don't know if they still have it today though. Of course they do. There's crazy fucking shit. I was, well, you just fucked an 18 year old. You yeah, can ask her. I was actually going to tell a story about that. <laughs> um, she was telling me that she got two speeding tickets uh, before 18. <laughs> And like in like a um, so if you get like one speeding ticket, they they suspend your license for like a month, and then two they suspend it for six months. That's kind of crazy. Just a, just a ticket. Just but before just you're the eighteen. Fucking, yeah, before yeah. you're yeah. eighteen. Like, oh, okay. That's, I mean, you do dumb shit when you're fucking eighteen. Yeah, dude, I, I, was, was I was driving one hundred and thirty down the freeway yeah, when I was when I was like sixteen. I was drinking and driving. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you don't want to call your parents, let them know you're yeah. drunk. No, no idea. It's just, <laughs> Being still, you know, being it's like when they tell, they pull you aside and they're like, "Look, if you ever find yourself in this situation, just call us." Fuck. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna happen. I, yeah. smoked, I smoked three blunts earlier. You think I'm fucking calling yeah. you right now? Um, I can't even order food from hell, McDonald's. I wouldn't even have condoms because I wouldn't want them to find him. <laughs> you think I'm going to fucking call I you? I don't even know up? my name. I'm not calling my mom. And that's the same excuse I use now. I don't even have condoms because I don't want anybody to find them. <laughs> <laughs> Do they even make those anymore? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be embarrassed. That shit was, that shit was the 90s. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do. Ins- I do make sure that whenever I go buy condoms at like uh, at Target, that I buy like a bottle of whiskey with dude, it, you gotta just go. to yeah, yeah. Just, just yeah, just those two items and some flowers. You gotta like, go Costco, dude. I'm gonna treat dude. myself. Yeah, you <laughs> got you gotta go to Costco. You get the fucking bulk pack, and then I get a, and then I get a pound of sugar. Yeah. Just like some other random object. Five pounds of peanut brittle, fucking pound of sugar, <laughs> yeah. and fifty condoms, dude. It's literally you buy forty condoms, they're like. 15 bucks. I remember at one point I used to be embarrassed to buy condoms. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Like, I, would wait I, think, I don't think that ever completely goes away. No, no matter yeah. What age it, it's because everybody's looking at you like, yeah. oh, he's fucking. Yeah, I, I wait till like there's but, nobody in that aisle. I mean, you know what I mean? At that yeah, register, yeah. I it's, look around. The awkward part's always when like you're looking to figure out which ones you're going to buy and the, the employee comes up like, do you need help with anything? Yeah. Yeah, which one of these is best? <laughs> have, have you tried all of these? Yeah. The rib for her pleasure. Would you say that works for you? Because for me, me they're just a little too thick i just i don't think no matter it doesn't matter what age you are as a man there's always going to be that slight tinge of embarrassment i, when you I, do, like I do look behind my back most, like when i'm like like about to pick up the box oh, i yeah. look back like who's watching me <laughs> most em, <laughs> most embarrassing one i had recently uh was having to buy um the lice shampoo which i i, I don't Go know on. I, I don't know if i told you guys this story uh, so there's a, uh, a woman that I've been hooking up with who is, um, who has kids, who has children. Who's homeless. It <laughs> doesn't wash her hair. <laughs> yeah. I met her in the alley yeah. behind my apartment. <laughs> she needed a place to sleep. <laughs> now I can't get these fucking bugs out of my place. <laughs> can't get her out either. She's actually in my room right now. Door shut. She's in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> She's just like. <laughs> just scratching off like the flakes. Like a dog, just. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so she had a uh, she has kids, and um, she she stopped over here. She was going to a uh, to a music festival downtown, and she stopped by for a quickie, and also to uh, to get ready like right before she left to the to the music festival. And she like on a, in a throwaway portion of the conversation while we were just hanging out, she was like, "Oh yeah, like." Uh, I had to like wash my son's hair for like lice or whatever. Came home from uh, from uh, school. Somebody had lice at school. Like he didn't necessarily have it. Just had to like make sure that kind of deal. Yeah, preventative measures. Yeah, preventative measures. And then she. Uh, then the next day, 
she hits me with like, I got some bad news. And I'm Ooh. thinking like the worst. I'm like, of course, huh? as a male, any <laughs> yeah. conversation with a female that starts off with, I have some bad news, it yeah, goes like, to the worst fucking place. Okay. AIDS. And meanwhile, yeah. she's also in an open relationship. So like there was one of two things I was like, all right, she's going to tell me like some crazy like STD I shit. Would think, I would assume STD. Yeah. Or like I, the other thing I thought was going to be like, we can't keep doing it. Like we decided yeah. to like stop the open relationship. You, don't, it's, it, you assume bad, period. There's yeah, of course. Good. Yeah. You're going to be optimistic about yeah, this. And that, and that was like the, the silver, that was like the one I was going to be okay with i was yeah. like hoping it's like the we can't hook up anymore that's the better of the options <laughs> yeah the yeah. better of the options right there for sure and she's like she goes um so when i got back home today uh i found some uh i found like a bug or like a lice you know one oh. one lice <laughs> uh. <laughs> and she's like so you should probably go to uh you know pick up she like gave me up she's like the lice shampoo. full on like mom mode she's like don't get the you know the the prescription the over the counter works just fine like this is the one you should get and she's like sending me all the fucking details and so I had that night, I had to go to fucking CVS and I was just praying to God that nobody that I knew saw me there. Like the last thing, like I could, I'd rather be like, I can't even think of something that I would not want to buy in front of somebody more than that. Like that's you can't ex- explain that away. That's only excusable if you have kids. Exactly. That's exactly. The only way you could. <laughs> the only way you can explain it. Cause then if I even said like, Oh, like the girl I hooked up with had lice. They'd be like, yeah, crabs, motherfucker. <laughs> like, that's crabs. Before, before you even check out, they're like, you know this doesn't work for the fucking your genital region. <laughs> oh, it does. Right? I was going to say, those are the same. It's it the does. same it's the thing. Same. I, have, I have some left over if you guys want to get the bottle out. I need that. <laughs> I need that. Um, but yeah, so I spent that entire evening um, washing everything. Sheets, clothes, fucking steam, uh, steaming everything. Uh, watching Westworld and fucking washing my hair with the lice shit, dude. It, it was fucking, fucking itchy awful. Now, man. As soon as you mentioned bugs, it makes <laughs> yeah. me freak out. If it gets in my beard and I gotta shave my beard, I'm gonna be so Damn. fucking mad. Oh. We're gonna find this chick if any of us get. Fucking so anything. like the odd, the odds of it, like, because it wasn't necessarily on her. She just saw it in her house. So the odds of it. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> She's dirty. She. <laughs> Yeah, and the moral fish. of the story, kids, is don't bang homeless women. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and she's like it. legit homeless. We're gonna Dude, be downtown. I, I, I've like, always Alex, <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I miss you. It's actually good because her her little portion of the alley downtown that I can pass out in is always <laughs> nice and private. I saved a spot for you, honey. <laughs> yeah. Slide the cardboard over. <laughs> she moves her kid out of the way. <laughs> the fuck out dude, of I like she, she, this girl's actually badass. Dude, she does pole dancing. Um and uh not like actual like workout pole dancing yeah like the workout yeah, yeah the workout stuff she teaches she teaches dance, like classes but, yeah. but so we were like we were sitting here and she was getting ready and she's like oh do you want to see like a cool move that I that I learned and I'm like yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you need to ask and so she does like she's wearing nothing but her thong at this point and she like she's like laying she's like falls down lays on her back and then rolls over and in one motion uh pulls her thong off. And then in one motion rolls, like does a back somersault and at the same time ties it to my ankle. Hey, what? she deserves a tip. Holy shit. What the yeah. Fuck? Fucking, is her name Neo? Was she in a movie called The Matrix? Yes. Yeah. Her name's <laughs> Neo. She's the one. <laughs> Dude, lice, it's funny. Lice always seems to me, or even when I was a kid, like it was one of the, I never, I didn't know anybody that got it. I didn't get it, but you always would hear about it. Yeah. yeah and I, re- I remember somebody in my school got it and we had to do the preventative measure. Like I never, everybody I never had, had to do any of that shit. They never like when somebody had it in school. You never. I had honestly to, don't remember every, anyone ever having. Bradley's it. had lice for twenty years. Yeah. <laughs> like I thought, itchy scalp was just normal. Yeah. It's not normal to pick bugs out of your fucking. You, you head. I thought it just had dry skin. It's yeah. just a white flea, isn't it? That's yeah. the same thing. They're not white. I don't think. No, no, no. no but uh, I think I they, they are white. white. Yeah. yeah if you look flea. at like if you Google That's racist. Lice, yeah. <laughs> I, wait, don't crabs like literally look like little crabs? I'm sure if you I get close so. enough to it. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta get real what was it in close. Jackass when they when they shave their pubes, all of them, to put on the beard and somebody had crabs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's fucking terrible. I'm so glad I've never had crabs. Dude, um, just Ooh. imagine, like, not knowing you're, you're fucking drunk and you're hooking up with some chick and you're just burying your fucking face in her uh, vagina. With, with your beard? And there's literally bugs crawling all around your Fe- mouth. Feasting. Feasting. Yeah, while you're, like, going to town. Uh, extra protein. Just in, <laughs> just in the beard, just crustaceans everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Squeak them from that, 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 shit, that shit's not kosher. Oh, my god. That's gosh, not kosher. Dude. I can't do that. I don't know. I don't know. I've never had. That's, a, that's against personal, my religion. Never had any personal experience with crabs. No, but yeah. So that was a fun night. Well, speaking of fun nights, I mean, our, our friend over here, he, Which one? he is. 
He's this guy right here, the oh. bearded motherfucker. Oh, the uh, the uh, the Uncle Ben. What else? Oh, barbaric, barbaric Uncle, Uncle ben, ben. Excuse me. So yes, I think a specific team came back to win it all down three one. Damn. I've officially been fucked over by the land. Yeah. <laughs> the the curry curse. Yeah, they Steph Curry just oh man. Either that or the universe is just mad at you. <laughs> the universe is definitely mad yeah, at me. Really I'm starting to rethink like everything we've done on the show. <laughs> I'm starting to rethink <laughs> my this, life. Yeah. Like people have always said I always, you know, just gonna come back to haunt you, the sh- you know, doing all this bullshit, posting these yeah, jokes like, doing okay, the show. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, karma. Yeah. yeah. God wanted this to happen to you. Yeah. So uh it was just meant re- to be just to remind everybody you had a bet uh, four years ago yeah. that uh, if the Cubs won the World Series within that four-year period, and this is a drunk bet, obviously, but that you'd shove a dildo. It was actually a ass. Vegas bet. Vegas. Oh, it's, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Three days of drink. You don't even know what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I've fucking been there. I was there last show. <laughs> Three day- Dude, I was so drunk. Oh, no, no. Anyway. No, I'm saying that was bookies replacing bets on it. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you were oh, saying you were in Vegas. Oh, no, no, no. I was, I was here in Yeah, uh-uh. for those who don't know. This guy right here was blacked out for the last half of the last show. Watch it. You'll just see it as it like progressively. So watch just, it again. Rewatch it. And, and then keep that in mind while you're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four days of drinking. Okay. So um, did we finish describing the bet? Not completely. Not completely. But, Cubs uh, win four years. Dildo up the ass. Dildo up the butt. And it was on video. So um, and uh, wh- where, where are we at with that bet? Um, you know, we got to figure out what the uh, logistics are. So okay. I, yeah, your friend, I'm assuming, has uh, he, they've all been gloating. What's going on? Uh, yeah, yeah, they got a video. He was bartending. Some friends were out drinking, and they sent a little video uh, of of him. You know, did you pucker right when the video came in? Did you where, right when he saw his face in your phone? You're like, I, I was actually doing anal exercises. <laughs> He's fucking doing his moment. kegels. Yeah. <laughs> Anal kegels. Uh-huh. Um, he had the jade beads in his rectum. Yeah. He was moving them around. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it as awkward as possible for him. Like I'm going dildo shopping with him. Yeah, yeah. no, you got it. Yeah, you should hold hands while you're doing it. I yeah. mean, fuck it. Go all out. Yeah. Yeah. Get a vibrator. Yeah. Go to the one in Hillcrest too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, get one you might use again too. You don't want to just fucking waste your money on one fell. Yeah, know. sure. I could always re up on some more sex toys, yeah, you know. Exactly. That's for sure though. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, even if you don't ever use it Jam on yourself it again, fucking get yeah. some. When I get when I get whiskey, dick, I'll just turn the lights off. Yeah. <laughs> just, I mean, dude, <laughs> chestnut hey, checkers. That might be the, that might be the shit. Yeah, yeah. especially you, if she's a little schnockered. Yeah, you're good to go. Yeah, fake uh, dick and all. I never thought about that. She's like, you are rock hard. Yeah, yeah. baby. <laughs> I saw online. you just do that to me. <laughs> you guys ever seen those extensions? Yeah, 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 that's stupid. <laughs> My top. dick would go limp. I know. So yeah. Wait, what is it? I they it's have extensions. Extension for your dick. For your dick. Yeah, it like I goes was, over the top and then it adds a couple inches. I was at uh, I was at I Hustler that. not that long ago. <laughs> yeah, I was at Hustler not that long ago, and that was the first time I actually saw them. So weird. Yeah, I would go limp, but like you said, yeah. I, I've tried a cock ring. Yeah, those are great. Yeah, what those is that supposed to do? It's supposed to keep you fucking hard because it, it the blood it keeps the blood in. Yeah, your How? it definitely gives ring. you like it gives you like that eighteen year old. But it's on. tight. Have you ever used one? No. It's re- it's tight. Like really, like it's as if someone were fucking grabbing your dick. Do you go over the balls? There, you, you can, can do a couple ways. Yeah, they I, have some that are like fucking holsters, like it's a <laughs> cock ring, yeah. and your fucking balls sit in like a stirrup. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I Dude, wa- they have some cock rings that have little vibrating like yeah, uh, yeah, like fucking it's for the clit. Yeah, yeah. it's for the yeah. So I, I have Jesus. I have one that's like three. It's three, uh, three cock rings, and you can like do all three at the same time. I'm not. So you, you do you do one you do one around the balls, one around the, yeah. the the shaft, and then one around both. What do you have them on your balls for? Because same thing. It just it I don't, dude. I don't really like it because it I feels I just feel it feels weird, weird when you nut. I, it just feel it feels constrictive. I don't know. I don't like it. I could see how it's appealing, but it's just it, I don't like what it. If you leave it on too long, that's really? dangerous. Yeah. Ooh. Don't fall. Yeah. Don't do it with drunk and like fucking yeah. nut and then fall asleep with it on. And you just wake up and they got to amputate. Yeah. No, they would probably have to cut it off your dick. Yeah. Well, do, <gasps> or yeah. dr- dude, do you know that uh, if you fucking have something like that happen, they actually have to physically drain your penis yeah, with a with like a, a needle. needle. I was yeah. gonna say it'd yeah. be like one false move, one false. Yeah. No, they literally, and it's a big needle, and they have to drain the blood out of you. That's my nightmare. I oh, yeah. By the like way, what? don't don't ever get like a hard cock ring. By the way, one. if you ever need to buy yourself a couple of minutes, just think of that. Oh, think of someone physically draining your dick with a needle. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like the exact opposite. I need to like keep it up, and so I'm like thinking about every girl I've ever slept with my entire life. Yeah, yeah I mean, when you're drunk, it is what it is. It's, it goes one or two ways, though. Sometimes you just last way longer. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what time? What makes when you you're last drunk? Way? When you're drunk. Oh, I, dude, you, yeah. I could, 
I could have the pyramid of women like we were discussing earlier, and I couldn't finish if it, I were that yeah, wasted. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's gotten to the point where I, I can't have a TV on I'm like I get distracted. Q, I'm like Hubert hopping around like, boop, 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 boop. I'll, I'll legit be like, I'll find myself like watching TV halfway through. What? Sex. If like, you're drunk? If I'm well, even sober too, I have to have the TV off what? now. I hope they don't listen. Like They're like, damn, I'm boring as fuck. <laughs> I can't believe that tiny dick Cheeto face motherfucker won the election. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. She's like, what? Now let me grab Nothing. you by the pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, uh, I want you. I want you to try a cock ring and then come back on the show and talk about it. You I'm should. scared. Why? No, you get one of the like uh, silicone ones. That way it doesn't. Yeah. What are the What are the other ones? I don't. Dude, there's like metal ones. Yeah, dude. There's like a hundred different types of. It's cock a big rings. market. I, I do not understand. We need to get a tasteless gentleman cock ring. What's the point of a cock ring on your balls, though? I don't. It's it still restricts blood flow for, to where? To your dick. Yeah. I I think it goes over the ball, like right. It goes okay, over the ball. Look, and it, I don't fucking okay here. <laughs> <laughs> Here, does this look like yours? Here's the thing. Here's it the is thing. black. Here's the balls, okay? There's some like you put at the base of your dick in front of the balls, and some you lift your balls up, and you put the fucking the balls and the cock in the in the cock ring, and it goes behind all of it. It's either in front of the balls in the bottom of the shaft, or at the very very bottom behind your balls. And it's just to keep you more erect. It's, yeah, that's, I, I don't think, think that's you can the premise get of erect, it. right? Well, yeah, it also can keep you harder longer. Yeah, I don't know. There's, I've only there's used really it no, once. There's really no like downside it. to it. You know what else? It does feel it? weird. I once tried. You know, they, I don't know if they still make them, but they used to make those Trojan condoms where they had the the numbing stuff. I think it's non oxaline. Yeah, it was yeah, an yeah, enzyme. I tried that once because my old boss was like, oh, you got to try these. You can fuck for hours. And I'm <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I can't feel my dick. <laughs> and I put it on, and it doesn't take long, and like you're kind of fucking, and you're like, I don't feel anything. It just feels weird. Uh, like it yeah. feels like you're someone's about to perform surgery on your dick because yeah. it starts to go numb. So it, it's like um, it's the feeling when you when you've had surgery and you have a scar and there's like no yeah, actual it's, it's weird dude. sensation on the scar, but you can feel the pressure. That's all it feels like. It's I, fucking weird. I I, I had some ahead. girl give me a head after I uh, used one of those condoms. Oh, forget it. And she and she was like, "What what the fuck?" She's like, uh, I didn't I didn't. It was one of a variety pack, so I didn't know. That's yeah, like yeah. one I grabbed. <laughs> It was actually New Year's Eve, and then she was giving me a head afterwards, and then she was like, "What the fuck?" She's like, "My my lips are all numb." <laughs> That's that coke, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you got coke dick in your mouth. <laughs> That's that cocaine, baby. <laughs> um, I've, I've never done that. I've never put the uh, the blow on the. Uh, no, I've not that to. I've ever done. Are you talking about when you scuff up the uh, the skin baby. and drop co- coke on your dick? No, yeah, no, no. When you like, like <laughs> that's a good dick. one too, though. When yeah, you, yeah. When you like have an open wound on your dick and you pour cocaine on it. Yeah, it makes your dick super yeah. hard. Ouch! This sounds is, like no, a this is like burn. an urban legend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, what no. the fuck? It just sound like a I burn. Know. Sounds like you have a mild. I well, I can't <laughs> imagine it's pleasant. No. If you're the type of person to do that, you're not the normal. <laughs> you're not getting off on anything that's relatively normal at all. <laughs> yeah. No, dude. Like you're watching snuff porn. <laughs> yeah, you're like the dude that fucking wants to have his testicles stomped on by a fucking stiletto. Ouch. Dude, those videos. Dude, it's so that's bad. So we've been so we've bad. we've been talking about. Um, potentially doing like a game show type of thing with the dominatrix yeah if any of you guys know of or are any dominatrixes in the southern well, california area so I, I have one i, I, I told you do? You, yeah i do have one she's professional and i actually um, it can't hurt to have options yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i follow her i follow her on uh on snapchat oh i remember you showed her to me yeah and so she like dude the most like she has like uh one of those uh what is it, like the exacto knives mm-hmm the and, little like razor blades. Yeah, and so like she'll like have dudes like that she's performing all this shit mm. on, and legit like no, stabbing no, and like no, cutting, no. <laughs> cutting kind of shit, and then like she has these crazy cutting what, cutting what, cutting like skin, your back, like your stomach. What what is what is going on? Yeah. There's one race of people, and then she. Had, <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. It's yeah, so you, fucking true. Only one race. Yeah. She's black though. Yeah, huh? she, she is. Um, yeah, what's her like dominatrix some, name? Uh, Do you know? fuck, what is it? Oh, it's like Miss Blair Winters or something like Mistress that. Mistress Winters or yeah, something? Yeah, she's got like some like uh, vampire deal going on with like the fangs and, and all that shit. I, I saw some girl, she was selling her panties that were like, she shit in them or wore them for like multiple <laughs> days. <laughs> Like fifty grand, people are paying for this 50 shit. Fifty grand. Yeah. Oh, they pay big money, dude. P- women that sell their underwear online make like forty G's a fucking year. Weird. Fucking Weird. just like so, guys can buy them and just. Dom, I'll put on some panties and do. <laughs> <laughs> Dom walking around in stilettos and panties. <laughs> just so, just so some dude can wear them on his head while they 
<laughs> while he plays Call of Duty? Like he's fucking, like, like he's Bane. <laughs> you didn't care about me before I put on the mask. <laughs> Damn. So fucking foul. Those are the kind of dudes that get cheated on. And oh, they find sure. out on a drone. And they love it. <laughs> And then they find out they like watching their uh, their girl get fucked. Oh yeah, shit like that. Have you guys seen that video? The guy who uh, I he, saw it today. He flies his fucking drone. So uh, the the story starts. So it's viral right now. I'm sure you can find it. But the guy. So he starts a video. He's like, yeah, I was flying my drone, you know. And uh, his wife is. He leaves the house. He's like following his wife, thinking it's cute. Did he? Well, he had suspected something. That I was gonna he? ask. Oh, was it? I yeah. thought he yeah, was yeah, just yeah, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he had suspected something. I was gonna say. He you know had when to, your girl's Otherwise, cheating. he wouldn't follow her with a drone. You know? or maybe not. I mean, maybe you're just having fun, though. I mean, no, no, he, he had said, like, and he said I mean, he that's a really something. boring video if you're fucking just having fun. Here's my wife walking down Main Street. Plus, hey. he, plus he was definitely, like, too far away. It was like he was trying to make sure she didn't notice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it was She's like, like, every time you turn around, it's like... <laughs> it's it's like just a, hovering at her eye level. Yeah. right movie, behind her. Casino or whatever the fuck would... Uh, is it Casino? Ray, Ray Liotta's riding around all drunk, and he thinks the helicopter, and he's all fucked. Oh up no no no! That's uh, Goodfellas. that's that's Goodfellas, Goodfellas. yeah. 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 He's just and he's yeah. making he, when he's yeah. making making the pasta, he's all high as shit making the, the pasta fucking, and cooking yeah. coke, and yeah. he's all yak the fuck yeah. out. Okay, so tell so, tell the the, the kids the story. So you see, he's talking, uh, and he's talking to the camera, and he's talking about how he's following his wife, uh, and then the wife doesn't go the right way that she normally that you know she lives within or works within walking distance yeah. of the house. And he actually with the drone showed the path showed, that she normally yep. walks. And yeah. uh he follows her. She stands on the corner for a bit, looks like she takes a phone call, and now he's starting to get like worked up. He's like, What the fuck? You know, he's like getting mad. Yeah, you can hear him like he's breathing a little heavier, up, yeah. a little faster. Then he he follows her down to like a CVS and a car comes up. Oh, but he also pauses at the corner when she gets on the phone. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she lets her hair down. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that's that. key. That's a key. Part, yeah. yeah, that's a key component. And he's like, cute. he's like, getting cute, yeah, yeah getting all mad, <laughs> yeah, 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 getting cute, and then gets to the CVS. And uh, I, I just remember the car pulls up, and he's like, and this is the moment that she threw away 18 <laughs> years. 18 years. Yeah. And slams 18 years. the table. We yeah, can't, we can't scream loud enough to do it justice because it'll fucking annoy the shit out of you guys watching this, but it's loud. Wow, dude. <laughs> yeah, that, he poor, is, that poor guy got cuckled. He uh, is cuckolded. audibly very infuriated. I don't know how, like, so if I'm on the drone, and I see my girl. If I'm, I'm attacking her with the drone. I don't think I can just just right into the car. <laughs> I, I, I just don't understand. Like I'm not staying with the. I'm no, no, dropping no. the controller. I'm just getting to in go the car. Over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm flooring. I'm going it. over there. I'm, I'm. This is not happening. I'm ramming oh, no, no. a vehicle. I, I'm doing better. I'm. I'm. Tr- I'm following the guy to find out where they go, and then I'm showing yeah, up. Yeah, right. There. He ain't one of that dude was black in the van. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely looked like a black dude scenario oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for yeah, sure. It's funny though because you really can't see what she. I mean, it, you could tell that she leans in to kiss whomever's yeah. driving the car that picked her up. Yeah, but you can't see in that. Like he's screaming like she's getting fucking yeah. railed by yeah, three dudes by, at the by, same time. By the way, when your when your girl says she got subway with a coworker, that's what she means. That's oh, exactly yeah. what happened. Yeah. Oh yeah. The <laughs> bottom line is we've talked about it. If you think. That it's your over. significant other cheating to the point where you're gonna actually take a drone or hire a private invest. She's cheating, or, or go through the cheating. phone. Yeah, they're cheating. Sorry, you over. know, yeah, you know, if, if your girl's looking at the phone, her phone and texting and laughing, that's some other dude. That's that's the wolf in the tree line. Yeah, right and there. if you say who's that, she's like, oh, just a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're My fucked. Man. Or she'll go say, swallow a shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your legs with your, over with your toe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking shotgun in the mouth, toe on the trigger, <laughs> Hemingway style. Looking like Pepe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Damn, fuck. that's fucking tragic, dude. Like you, yeah, you know. That fucking watch shit happens live. every day. I would not put it on the internet. No, no, I wouldn't either. Dude, it's like, come on. You're, you're not going to slut shame her? Broadcast it. Hey, but you oh. did You now. did say you made a valid point. You're like, hey, at least he went viral. Yeah, he went viral. <laughs> All kinds of hoes are going to see that video and be like, oh, I'll suck this poor guy's dick. Look not at him, that man. guy. He's broken hearted. Nah, somebody will suck his dick. He no. got married, dude. Shit, somebody married him. He got really angry, though. It's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. She might be dead. Yeah. yeah. We, we probably shouldn't be talking about this anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a long time. I mean, that's a really long time. Yeah, it is because he looked like he's probably in his forties. So I guess it's close to half his life. Uh, they were probably there's like it looked like a small town. Yeah, they probably got married like right yeah. out of high school yeah, for sure. So that's probably why he put it on the internet though, because it's a small town. Not everyone in the town will see it. Fucking rockers. Just slut but the thing is, in a in a small town, when you're when you're getting cheated on, everybody knows that you're getting cheated on too. There's like like small towns are fucking awful. 
for that very yeah. reason. Yeah. It's probably really yeah, hard to cheat in a fucking small town. Gotta be. But either. I feel like it's. I feel like it happens more in small towns. Yeah, because I think, like you said, a lot of people get married young and they get bored, dude. Like, fuck, Have man. Imagine ever... one pussy your whole life. Oh, fuck. fuck never that. tasted the fruits of other vaginas. You, you just you just took my best man speech. <laughs> my <brother. laughs> Have you guys ever seen the uh, the wonderful whites of West Virginia? What is that? No. It's the fucking best documentary of all it's time. It's either about racism or it's a porn. No, it's, it's a, about West Virginia. It's, <laughs> about, it's West Virginia, and it's the most like podunk Boone County, yeah. West Virginia, and it's about one family in in Boone County. The, oh, the White's fam- yeah, White the family. Yeah, the White family. Yeah, and the like all the cops know who they are, and it's just like this trash like small town dude. It's so fucking funny. Is I'm it a comedy? It yeah, you gotta watch it tonight. It's not a comedy, and it's a little bit sad, but it's also hilarious. It's absolutely. By hilarious. the way, a show for all you guys to check out. And all y'all folks at home too, uh, you're the worst on FX. It's fucking amazing. I haven't seen that. It's yeah. right up our fucking alley. I don't have time to watch TV, but I'm I'm trying. You're the DVR worst. That fucking shit. funny, dude. Something. It's good. It's just reminded me of that small town and like she, the, one of the like two of the girls out of the whole family are like mildly attractive, yeah. like kind of, like, like on the fringe of attractive, but not really though. And, they, and the one because the they don't know how to put it together. She was like, no, no, not still. Uh. Even. But she's like. Yeah, and no joke. I'm not even kidding. She's like, she's probably like 33 or something. And she's like, she's like, yeah, I used to be a stripper. <laughs> oh, I mean, her body is still. Yeah, but ooh. she's got that voice because she yeah. smokes three packs a day. Oh, and like yeah. Wakes up with a bottle and of just And, and, and the drugs. back of her throat was just getting oh, bruised yeah, yeah. by fucking cocks. Dude, one of the first scenes, they, you know, the, the movie starts. One of the first scenes, it's the mom, like the matriarch of the whole family. She's 86, right? And they all are just railing it up. In at the party, she's sitting right there at the table, With, and they're just doing lines. They're smoking joints. They're <laughs> drinking out the bottle, dude. It's amazing. It's sounds amazing. Like a fucking party. What is it again? The Whites of West Virginia. The wonderful Whites of West Virginia. It's amazing. Yo, there's this dude in um in Florida. He threw a big ass party for Veterans Day. I'm, I <laughs> saw that. Yeah, it's Dark. great. Oh, it's fucking great. Free alcohol, free tattoos, free haircuts, or free blowjobs. <laughs> what? <the> yeah. <laughs> He he got he got like these two old ass not old but I mean they're probably in their fifties. I would have got good looking big by. old big old fake titties blonde hair like what you would picture yeah. a stripper or porn star in her fifties to look like. Yeah. And they're showing the fucking video. I saw this on Facebook. Yeah. They, these dudes are just, it's it's creepy because the dudes it are kind of creepy. Like one dude's just standing there. You see a bunch of fucking vets partying behind him, and he's like. <laughs> dude just getting his hair cut next yeah. to him oh, There's a guy getting a tattoo look, there's, 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 there's a guy getting some trim next to a guy getting trim yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> What yeah. the fuck How is that even legal I don't know but he got away with it It was on world Be- Because if you it was, yeah, if you yeah. don't pay for the actual specific act I mean it's Florida I mean, uh, couldn't they say, like, we hired strippers and they voluntarily wanted to suck yeah, all these guys' yeah. dicks so, so long as there was no, like, uh, obli- you know, obligation for them to, to suck dick it looked like a fun party, though. I'm going next year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they, I'm not a vet. I can't go. I mean, damn. Yeah. Just, fuck. Yeah. just wear the hat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just wear the hat. Speak, speaking of people getting angry on Veterans Day and all that shit, dude, people were posting on, some guy was posting on the page. He was like, fuck you guys. You didn't post anything today about Veterans oh, Day. Oh, I was wow. like. <laughs> and you know what? If we did, someone would fucking complain about whatever it is right. that we posted. Yeah. There, even the one, the, the Kim Kardashian one. Yeah. Where it says like you know this is an uh, uh, Armenian fem- the first Armenian female soldier from 1905 yeah. she's holding a shotgun right uh, underneath that that's so disrespectful to post that on Veterans Day I'm like what <laughs> and why 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 are these people inherently never in the military yeah, right yeah 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 for real a hundred percent why why are they so I, I think they have this like guilt. That they've been so like pro America and military, yeah. and they never fucking joined because they're chicken hawks. And another thing is like, vet, you always see veterans defend it. Like, no, this is funny. Like, we yeah. think this always, is funny. always in the comments, people are like, "Yeah, I'm in the Navy. This, this is hilarious. This you hilarious. have to have a sense of humor yeah. if you're in the Navy, or I'm in the, I'm in, the, I'm, in the, I'm in the army. Like, yeah, yeah, we always joke about shit like so this. Dumb. Like, Dude, I, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, it's it's always like this these groups of people that always have to speak out on behalf of some group that never fucking asked them yeah. to. Yep. No. Never fucking asked them to. Um, on that exact in that exact same vein, a friend of ours, a friend of the show as well, posted something the other day about um in re- in response to what Trump was saying on sixty minutes and something about Planned Parenthood, and she's like, well, I guess fucking f women's rights, right? And dude, probably just a friend of hers on Facebook, not a friend in real life. 
out of nowhere, like, starts spouting off about, I'm tired of all you fucking left-wing liberal baby fucking pussies. You know what? I was going, I was playing football at San Diego State, and I was finish, finishing practice when the fucking recruiter came and handed me my orders to go to fucking war. Shut your fucking mouth. What does that have to do you, with <laughs> you know what it is? Thank you. What the fuck does that have to do with the I mean, price of rice went in China? off, dude. <laughs> went off. What does that have to do with with her complaining about with it? anything? Yeah. Nothing. And and when did when did serving in the military uh, negate somebody's right to complain about you know whatever but issue it is? That's the whole point. Like the yeah, whole yeah, like the yeah. premise is like. Yeah. You know. But what I found what I found at least especially on Facebook is so many of like and I'm not even gonna say right wing. I'm not gonna say fucking conservatives. I'm just gonna say those people who act in the same way that he does. Because he's all right now. It's, it's all always, over the place. It's, it's all always. Yeah, it's it was suppressing yeah. our Facebook post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's always like your fucking left wing left. Left wing liberal fucking socialist blah Cuck, blah libtard. Because you posted something about women's rights? What the fuck, dude? You're shut up. Yeah. US is going to shit, man. <laughs> well Facebook is, at least yeah, on the for internet. Sure. Uh, my, Even cra- my buddy posted it was like it's like you guys keep complaining on Facebook like anybody gives a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. funny. So dude, funny. um so some crazier shit is fucking some uh a bunch of people that are running these websites, they uh, they live in Macedonia. There's like a hundred plus websites. It's like a small group of people. Mm-hmm. And uh, they publish um, fake articles. And they're making millions of dollars off of this. These like 17-year-old kids running these websites. And they have no interest in politics, no interest in journalism, anything like that. And they're getting all this fucking ad revenue. Google uh, AdSense actually just recently when this story broke, they cut off the spigot and they said if you're um, one of these websites we're turning off ad revenue completely what articles for you. are they publishing what are they writing it's like like what it's basically like super like conspiracy theory like all right shit like that that people like share so they found out these websites were being shared from like the most popular uh facebook pages for like conservative whatever so they'd be, <laughs> yeah. they'd be they would, there's like you know millions of followers on these Facebook yeah. pages and they would share these articles and then they would share like thousands of people would be sharing yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, for sure. And these, they were making millions of fucking dollars. It's like a cottage. Power it's like a, yeah, it's like a cottage industry over there and they're kids. Fucking good for them. Yeah. And they're, so they're literally just like, sp- like sparking up all these websites and making fucking a killing. I wonder why shit. Google is sh- shutting that off though. That seems kind of weird. Like just, just, I mean, a lot of because I mean, yeah, seen, isn't a website a website a website I've a website? I've seen some of these and they're, they're so like ridiculous. It's like if you do one Google search, like I don't know, you get right past and it. People right? share yeah. that shit on Facebook. Like, I know. Yeah, I think, I think that's. Oh, I think that's one of the main reasons. People read two sentences yeah. of a fucking article and it's like, oh shit, I'm sharing yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> I think read the, the links. but here's the problem though is that when you start doing that. Then if you start like cutting people off, like well, kind of where does that stop? No, I like, agree. You know it's, it I mean? establishes a precedent that's dangerous. It's, it's a, dangerous a slippery precedent. slope. Yeah. I don't like it. I agree yeah. with it. It is basically what they were saying is that if you're not like factual in what you're doing, then but see that right there. Yeah. That's, that's and then bad, and then dude. the and then the other thing that they said too is that you have to actually make yourself known as a publisher. So a lot of these people are like hiding behind like shell corporation like yeah. deals I mean, like that. It's like, all scary. There's all kinds of shit. Yeah, I mean yeah. it is, but. At the same point, yeah, that shit happens. It yeah. puts us in fucking jeopardy. At, 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 the, at the same point, like spreading false information undermines a democracy. So it, it is kind of scary yeah, but that's in that what sense every too. Dude, but yeah, I mean, if anything, in the last fucking month, especially, it's shown us that the media yeah. is bullshit. <laughs> All of it is bullshit. Unless I see it with my own two eyes, and even then, until they're until they're they're paying me, it's bullshit. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, if if you want us to shill, let me know. (laughs) Hey, it's bullshit, but seriously, like you want to sign this TV show to a contract? What up? On CNN. Yeah, Yeah. Uh, that's not that's show. That's like for entertainment. I'm talking. I know. I'm just joking around. Media, media. No, if you want us to post articles for real, like, oh, we'll show. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, you should just pay us, dude. We'll fucking post anything. Cut Cut that, I don't care. <laughs> Cut that motherfucker. I'll, 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 I'll write an article about safe sex. <laughs> I, don't a, I don't give a fuck. How to properly use yeah. a condom. <laughs> Fucking hell! I don't Wait, care. I thought Scoop said condoms yeah. are myths. No, no, no. He was just kidding. No, 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 no. no, no, no. STDs. My, my mind changed. Yeah. Yeah. Why <laughs> women are amazing by yeah. Bradley? Sh- Dude, I will, I will sell my fucking soul to the devil. No <laughs> fucking questions. The asked. whole show changes. Oh, <laughs> dude, I will, I will be talking social justice, pro social yeah. justice warrior. All of a right sudden, here. we're all in bow ties. Like, yeah. Hello, and welcome to we, the tasteless gentleman. I think gentleman. What we like, gotta like do. We're part of the, the uh, what's the nation of Islam? Yeah, that's what I pictured. Dom with his glasses. In the fucking bow tie, like JB Smooth and fucking uh, and curb your enthusiasm. When I'm doing the introductions, I'm like, and Dom, 
Assalamualaikum. Good day. <laughs> we we gotta have the tell for like the the our real our real you know followers. So it's like something like we're we're all drinking wine and like that's the the word that like we got paid off. You know? <laughs> yeah. No brandy out of brandy, brandy sniff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we have to have cigars. Yeah, yeah, that's yes. the word. Yeah, yeah. So if it. you see that, just know we've made it. And if we're doing it in a whorehouse. Oh yeah. Well, I mean. Yeah, we need to have smoking robes made out of. Fine linens and velvet. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in the universe before we get out of here. But I I think we should go down to Mexico and do a show. Las Rocas, one of, like couple oh, yeah, in a couple like of shows. Spot. Yeah, like we could get a ho- like a one of those baller hotels are like ten dollars. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you were down there recently. Yeah, I was down there. Yeah. Party my face in here. Yeah, yeah, I'm down with other friends of the show. Good friends of the show. Good friends of the show. Fuck yeah, that, I was. Fuck that guy. Like fucking in his pussy. So it's like a college program. Fucking the friends of the program. <laughs> <laughs> we got the we got, we got the boosters. They're good friends of the friends program. Of the program. <laughs> I want to go meet with that high school athlete and bring him along. <laughs> <sighs> All right, we should probably shut the fuck up now. Yeah, yeah. we getting out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we out, right. ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank you as always. Yep. Myself, Bradley. Dom. Yes, sir. Alex. Yes, sir. And Scoop. Yes, yes, and uh, please, please comments. Likes, any, any, any love, hate. I don't give a fuck. Down votes. It doesn't matter. You know, spread some love if you can. If Shit, you like we ain't it. tripping. Or just acknowledge like that method isn't on this one. <laughs> 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 if you made it to the end and you know yeah. the last show, then, you know. then that was a fucking really money comment, and you're probably laughing at this point. We for love sure. it. We love the method. We love it. Shout out the method. Baby. Yeah. Number love. We love you, brother. You right. make great soaps. I use them in my bathroom. And also, check out the shop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chase shop. the Gentleman Party. Show them who you really support. Chase, Chase the Gentleman with an E-N. Plural, not singular. A-N. E-N. Uh-huh. Let's go, let's go. And on that note, <laughs> I... Bitch ass nigga. nigga on your damn street. Yeah.